Hello, my name is Ozzy Yast. I'm a sommelier at Cafe Balut, and today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my personal favorite styles of wine, Chablis. So today we have the 2018 Alain Joffre Beau Robe. So Beau Robe being the primer crew site this wine comes from, it's on the left side of the Saron River and located within Chablis. So Chablis being about 80 miles north of the rest of Burgundy in the Cote d'Or and the Maconay, um, the wines are actually sourced uh, from an area that is much closer to the uh, to the winemaking region of, sh of Champagne. Uh, so they definitely have more characteristics that, that are very, very similar in style to that. Uh, the climate there is going to be much cooler in style. So the wines themselves are going to have a little bit more acidity to them and be a little bit more fresh, somewhat underripe in style. Uh, what makes this region so special, in my opinion, is that they're known for aging and fermenting in stainless steel versus in uh, oak, which is what you'll find in other winemaking regions that harvest uh, Chardonnay. Uh, so the wines will be a little bit leaner in style, a little bit more fresh, a little bit more crisp, but still have that really, really nice mineral-driven backbone that really gu uh, guides the structure of the wine itself. Um, what also you'll find in Chablis, especially in the Premier Cru sites and the Grand Cru sites, is the uh, grapes themselves are harvested on what uh, this, this limestone that's called Kimmerigian Marl which, lack for a better word, um, is going to be thousands upon thousands upon thousands old uh, soil that is composed of dead sea matter and o old oyster shells. So the, the, the soil itself is, has great uh, drainage qualities to it, so the grapes are able to sort of be a little bit more, uh, a, a, j j just get more water re uh, retention, which allows the wine itself to be a little bit more uh, sort of powerful in the palate and a little bit more long-lasting. Um, also, as because it is sort of this old oyster bed, it's going to have a nice like briny minerality to it that really comes through on the palate. Uh, so when we're tasting the wine, on the nose, it has a very, very fresh bouquet, almost underripe in some qualities. I get green apple skin, uh, lemon rind, a little bit of honeysuckle on the palate. Those citrus qualities definitely shine through. Adds to that mineral driven quality to it, but it also has really, really nice acidity. You can see me sort of puckering up my mouth quite often. Um, what that does for the wine is some people get kind of scared of the idea of acidity because the idea of acid just doesn't sound good. But in wines, it's perfect because it makes the wine more dynamic. So not only can it pair with items like uh, uh, lightly cured shellfish or fresh oysters uh, straight out of the shell, but it's also really, really nice with more savory, more rich style f uh, dishes. So you could pair it with a nice cream sauce, have maybe some garlic notes or pesto chicken, or even one of my personal favorites would be a mild soft cheese um, that definitely has a little bit more of like uh, I, I would say like more like hay notes to a little more barnyard, uh, but with that it's able to sort of cut through the richness and just really so, uh, so, sort of showcase the other characteristics that are going on in, on the cheese that are not just the the, the cheese-like qualities. Um, so this is one of my personal favorite go-to wines to pair with food just because it is so dynamic and you can have it with multiple courses that are different. Um, so again, 2018 Alain Jaffre Boro. About $35 in the wine store, so definitely a great bang for your buck and just perfect with food. Thank you.